I really appreciate the folks who chimed in with the comments uh, indicating that I had to take out the studs for this water jacket adapter on top of the head. Uh, it makes sense now, obviously, that uh, it would need to be bolted down through the um, engine block itself. Initially, I thought they were just two short studs, so uh, we'll give this a whirl and see how we um, end up. We can see that this is a little bit loose. We'll just give it a couple of little taps here. So, see there's a washer on one side, but not the other. So we'll work, we'll work on this and we'll get this off. All right, we got this uh, worked up a little bit. I just used the screwdriver to get underneath and apply a little bit of pressure to both sides got this neck off. Uh, one thing I did notice here is that it's either warped or uh, one of these studs might be bent because uh, trying to fit it back on it doesn't slip back in there so the um, opening in this is a little bit egg-shaped. You can see it's a little bit thin on the outer edge so I wouldn't be surprised if it's warped or has some type of wear to it. But we can look down in here to see the uh, impeller for the water pump. But uh, we'll let that go for right now and see what we find out with the head. All right, we have the, the neck off for the top part of the water jacket. Uh, as everyone had indicated, that head is on pretty tight. So we took a wire brush, cleaned around all these studs, so I'm just going to pour a little bit of uh, acetone and ATF around each one of the studs and hope that uh, it works its way down in to loosen things up. All right, we've been working at getting this uh, head up off of the studs. You can see we do have a little bit of a gap here, equal distance the whole way around, front to back. Uh, what seems to be holding us up now are the two studs up top for that water jacket uh, portion. So we're going to continue to try and gingerly work this straight up and out and um, see if we can't get, to get it to clear these studs. All right, so you can see the top of the head is kind of cattywampus. We uh, got it off. I needed the extra hand, so there is no monumental camera uh, footage. I ended up using this uh, Kentrol uh, tire tool that we've had for ages. It's for, I think, split ring tires, but it ended up being a good pry bar uh, to help maneuver these front studs up. So I'm gonna lift the head up and we'll see what it looks like underneath. Holy man. So, here's what the inside of the head looks like. And then we can get a shot of what it looks like on top of the uh, engine. So we can see uh, it was this valve that is stuck. This one's loose, uh, that one's closed. This one, this one's loose, but uh, it's stuck open. And then on down the line here. So it's uh, a lot of uh, surface rust and some score um, I really can't say hundred percent that there's some scoring inside the cylinders but there is some surface rust around the top as we would have suspected from before uh, yeah these pistons are pretty well wore um, or at least the rings are but uh, 
I know uh, there's a possibility that these rings could be stuck and they just need to uh, expand back into the cylinder walls, possibly. Uh, the other point, is, other uh, question is, is this motor similar to the Model T or the Fordson where as long as you can get a little bit of compression, they'll still run? Because um, mind you, we're just looking at refurbishing what's here uh, to see if we can get it to pop smoke and, and uh, do a little bit of running just to say we did. So um, this is gonna wrap things up for tonight. Next video, I suspect we'll do some uh, cleaning. We'll get the head gasket off and um, we'll try and get the uh, valves working that are stuck. So thanks for watching, thanks for your help. Uh, like I said, the, the comments that came in late this afternoon on these two studs here to get that water jacket off, that was the, uh, the kingpin on that. So we will uh, touch base at a later time. So take care and have a uh, good break till we see you again. Bye.